Hi, it's Lindsay here from Torben Reiner and today I want to talk to you about our powder stiffener. So we have a, a new stiffener in and it comes in a powder form that you mix up. And the advantage of that is if you don't have access to our physical store, uh, it could be a really good alternative to our normal resin stiffener, which at the moment is um, flammable when we ship it, so it's, it's harder for us to ship and harder for you to get, especially if you're overseas, we can't ship it overseas at all. So uh, for anyone who, who would like to use a, a nice proper stiffener that isn't water-based and doesn't come with the problems of being water-based, then this is probably the product for you. It's not a new product per se, as in this type of product has been used in millinery for many years. Not, not over the last few years, but in the past it has. And what you do is, is you receive your powder and then you mix it with alcohol. And so, being an alcohol solvent stiffener, it dries very quickly. Um, instead of using the likes of, of PVA, which is a really good stiffener, but it has drawbacks in that um, the humidity and such can uh, soften the stiffener and your hat may sag over time. Um, so this product is, is really good in that it doesn't do that. Um, it's non-toxic in its powder form, so you don't have to worry about that sort of thing. Uh, as I said before, you dissolve it in alcohol. I recommend that you dissolve it in isopropyl alcohol. Uh, if you go to your hardware store, you'll probably find that isopropyl alcohol is pretty expensive. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a, a list of places in Australia you can buy it, but it's, it's pretty easy to buy in... Uh, larger commercial quantities like a 5 litre or a 20 litre drum or, or a container and the reason is they use it as a disinfectant especially in hospitals um, isopropyl alcohol is also known as rubbing alcohol or IPA and it's, it's ready available so if you aren't getting a, a little 250ml bottle from the hardware store it's probably a lot more cost effective. You can mix it up with any alcohol really um, and I've used it with metho. The reason I don't recommend using it with metho or methylated spirits is because methylated spirits is usually around 90% ethanol, 95 sometimes, it varies a little bit but it's, it's mostly ethanol which is the alcohol you get in alcoholic drinks. And the reason it's not 100% ethanol, in Australia at least, is because ethanol is um, taxed at a very high rate. And so to get around them not being taxed for it, they have to put additives in it so it makes it undrinkable. And those additives can sometimes be like really bad tasting and sometimes be really bad smelling and colours and all sorts of stuff. So the problem with using metho is not that the ethanol is bad or worse than the isopropyl alcohol. It's just that those other additives can cause you problems. Um, the, the additives that smell can linger on in your work for you know, a few days or, or a longer time than, than other stiffeners. And the other thing is that usually they don't tell you what these other additives are. They'll tell you it's 95% ethanol, but they won't say what else they've put in there. And so for a milliner, you, you're really taking some guesswork into what you're putting on your hat. And you may, may not have any problems, but the problems could arise. And a lot of metho is also coloured, so you get that problem as well added on top of um, smells and different tastes. Also, metho traditionally has methanol added. The problem with methanol, if ingested or even inhaled, when it gets into your bloodstream, your body converts that to uh, formaldehyde. 
which is a really nasty thing to have in your body. It's what they preserve um, animals in, or what they used to, they still sometimes do. So if you have seen those lab specimens that are preserved in alcohol, um, that's formaldehyde, that browny looking stuff. And it's really, really bad for your body. So breathing in methanol is um, not very good and drinking it's even worse. So that's one reason perhaps not to use um, metho. However, isopropyl alcohol is not perfect, but the amount of studies on that and the long-term effects aren't as, as, um, as researched as metho or methanol. So methanol is really nasty. Isopropyl alcohol and ethanol aren't so bad, but you, know, you still don't want to be sitting over your, your work and breathing those fumes in because they're not terribly good for you, if nothing else. So, once you've mixed it up, obviously it becomes flammable and, and toxic, but the powder itself is, is quite safe for you to have around the house, and you can use your um, measuring cups that you would for your food to measure this out. It's, it's not going to hurt you at all. In fact, this product's been used in the food industry, so it's not, it's not a, a, a nasty substance at all. What's the disadvantage of this stiffener? Well, it's not completely clear. So if you're stiffening white pieces, then you may not be able to use this. Um, here I've got a piece of, of white fabric, just a cotton fabric that I've stiffened with the, the powder stiffener. Um, you can see it's, it's quite stiff um, and it looks pretty white. But if you put it against um, well, my t-shirt, you can see hopefully that it's not 100% white. So it does take on a little bit of colour. So you have to sort of weigh up whether you could use, use this on your project. But anything that's not white is fine. And even some of the stuff that is white, you can still stiffen with this without much problem. But you just have to bear that in mind. And if you're doing a, a crisp white bridal piece, for instance, then maybe this isn't the stiffener for you. And you might have to look at using either the resin stiffener that we sell or some other form of stiffener like PVA or another water-based product. And now the cost. Well, the powder itself is a lot cheaper than the equivalent that you would pay for our resin stiffener. However, when you... Um, factor in that you're going to have to buy alcohol as well to mix this up with, then it, it works out around about the same uh, price-wise as the, um, the resin stiffener. Um, if you buy the isopropyl alcohol from us, then it's almost dollar for dollar um, the same price. So if you're lucky enough to be able to come into the shop and, and buy that, um, well, by all means, you don't have to go and look for your own source. Um, however, if you are buying it yourself, then a lot of the commercial places that I've looked um, to buy the isopropyl alcohol, you're still not going to pay much more for this uh, powder stiffener by the time you mix it up. It's probably only, say, uh, $5, for a, $5 more than the resin stiffener for a 4 litre um, container. So the, the price is pretty equivalent. And so that's a great thing.